Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I'm excited about today. I'm excited about tonight. I'm excited about the times in which we live. I'm going to be honest with you. It is times like these. I mean, just the, the, the times in which we're living in with the coronavirus and all of the things that's going on in society that makes me glad that I am a Christian. It makes me glad that uh, I am walking in biblical Christianity and uh, studying and serving the God of the Bible. I'm glad that I'm addicted to Bible study. I'm glad that I read the Bible and study the Bible and know what the Bible says. I'm glad that I have the Holy Ghost. I'm glad that I'm spirit-filled. I'm glad that I'm a part of a church where the Bible is held in honor and the Word of God held in reverence so that I can cope with times like these and things like these that come along and, uh, and it keeps me from being a part of the hysteria of the world and all, uh, we're falling apart and we're, everything is coming, coming down. What's happening? What's going on? Well, my friends, the Word of God speaks to every bit of it. And tonight I am going to speak to what's taking place in the world. You know, they've canceled March Madness. They've canceled the NBA or they postponed uh, these tournaments and different things are being postponed, canceled, flights canceled. You know, the president has, uh, has uh, cut off uh, uh, casual flights from uh, uh, Europe uh, to America so as to to, to halt the spread of this, uh, of this dreaded coronavirus. There are many things going on, but my friends, I want you to know that God is not silent. As a matter of fact, the Bible speaks to these times and how we should respond to them and what we should think and what our frame of mind should be. The Bible speaks to the, these things like nothing else. And tonight, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. And we're going to talk about this tonight in our weeknight Bible study. Now, I want to say the Bible even speaks to how we should handle ourselves. It speaks to hygiene. It speaks to all of these things. And as we come together and to worship um, we want to worship in cleanliness. You know, uh, one of the things we take pride in here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, we take pride in keeping God's house clean. And I want you to know that uh, uh, in addition to what we normally do, which uh, is a stickler of mine, that the house of God has to be clean. We've even stepped up and made sure that everything uh, is, is disinfected and, and clean and, and the way it should be so that when you come into the house of the Lord, you will be coming into a clean place where you can worship and not be concerned about uh, 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 anything that will harm you. And we pray that all of you, when you come to church, Practice uh, good hygiene and, and make sure you do it. If you have a cold or if you have any kind of symptoms, uh, you, want to, you want to stay home and get well. But at the same time, we don't want to get crazy and, 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 and pretend that, and think that the sky is falling and all of a sudden you can't pray, you can't worship, you can't come to church, you're afraid to go outside, you're afraid to drive your car, you're afraid, you're afraid, you're afraid. That's what the devil wants. The devil is a liar. I want to show you according to the word of God that the God of the Bible has it all in control. I'm teaching tonight protected by God's truth. And I want you to come and to hear what God has to say. Because my friends, the God of the Bible is always speaking. He's always speaking. The last time he was silent was between the intertestamental period between Malachi and Matthew. That was four, that was a 400 year silence. But that silence was broken and it has been broken 
ever since. John the Baptist came breaking the silence. The angels that sang that night and gave the announcement to the shepherds broke the silence. Oh, they announced that a child was born and a son is given and the Savior has come to the world. And the God of the Bible has been speaking to, uh, to us from his word concerning everything that takes place on this planet and not just when it happens. The Bible doesn't just speak in real time. The Bible is prophecy. The Bible tells us what will be. And we serve a God who speaks the things that be not as though they were. And I'll close with the, <laughs> that particular passage. You know, people say that's God's power to call it into existence. That's God's creative power. And he's given all of us creative power. We can call a thing into existence because God speaks to things that be not as though they were. Well, the scripture literally is saying that God is the one who speaks of future events as though they have already happened. And that power belongs to the God of the Bible and to him alone. But he will tell us what will be and what is. So I'm grateful for the word of the Lord. And I want you to come out tonight for Bible study. Bring your pen, bring your pencil, bring your Bible and come and learn. And we are going to not only survive the corona a virus uh, outbreak and this stuff that's going on, but as believers, we're going to thrive in it because we know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'll see you tonight for Bible study. Yeah, we're going to study the Word of God together. Talk to you later.